Well, right now we have a tip for looking good and saving money at the same time. Just go to a discount store. Yes, you can. We're joined by Kristen Parada, beauty editor for Allure Magazine. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Maggie. Thank really? You. Yes, really? I, I know it may seem scary, but we put together three looks. We actually went to dollar stores in Manhattan here. Everything you'll see is Pretty much 99 cents, the maximum price we paid was $2.50. Okay. And there are tricks to finding great products. Perfect. Proof is in the pudding, so let's start with Kaylee, who's sporting the winter wonderland look. What did you use on her? Kaylee, uh, basically in the wintertime, if you have pale skin, you want to play it up. Why bother with trying to mask this gorgeous uh, skin you have? So what That's we did on before and after, and it's pretty dramatic. Yes. So with Kaylee, what we did was we concentrated on her lips, as you can see, with a very rich berry color, and on her eyes, where there's just a little mascara and a shimmery white shadow. The trick, if you're buying lipstick at a discount store, you say make sure it's made of 95% wax. Exactly. Now a lot of lipsticks are not going to say on the tube what is going on. So right. what you want to do is look at the tube. You want to look at the lipstick. If it's beading, if it looks wet, don't buy it. That means it's going rancid. Great tip. And buy powder eyeshadow. Powder eyeshadow holds up much longer than cream shadow. Just shake the tin to make sure it hasn't broken because you don't want to you know, open it and have a dump all over the floor. Beautiful, all right, let's go. Thank you, Kaylee. Jessica over here is the bronzed goddess of the morning. This is what she looked like when she came in. And after her discount store makeover, she now looks like this. Nice. Yes. And what I forgot to say is Kaylee's whole look cost $13. Oh, that is wow. enough makeup to last her month. Uh, Jessica's look was a little more expensive. It was $14. And these <laughs> include their nail colors too. But Jessica's look, if you have an olive skin tone, a warmer skin tone, um, give yourself a sun-kissed look with some bronzer. It's just bronzer. You dust it um, where the sun would naturally hit. So it's on your cheekbones, um, across your forehead, down the center of your nose, and just along your jawline. When you're buying the bronzer, why do you say check it against the natural light? What does that mean? Because bronzers can look very fake very easily, and the dollar store light lighting is really bad. Uh, so you want to bring it near a window so okay. you can see that it's just a few shades deeper than your skin tone. Don't buy one with too much shimmer, and then pair it with a lip gloss. This look looks great with lip gloss. We love from the dollar stores lip glosses that are very, very opaque in the tube. Because that way you can, if you want to make it uh, more sheer, you just blend a little lip balm in so it's actually getting more than one product for the price of one. You recommend stocking up on lip gloss? Stocking up, lip glosses. Doesn't get old? No, they're great, they don't go bad. They're you, Lip glosses pretty much are always uh, very tightly sealed, so you're fine. But how do you know if something is, is well, if past it's, its prime? It would smell bad. Okay. If it looks separated or it smells that? bad, yeah, use your eyes and your nose, basically. All right, so this is the $14 bronze $14. goddess look. Okay, our third model is Tiffany. When she came in, she looked like this. I think great, but let's see how you made her even better with bold eyes. From yes. the discount store makeup looks this, amazing. Yes, this is a very you know this is a very French look, and it, it can be achieved for fifteen dollars and seventy eight cents. Wow! Um, and basically, we're focusing on the eye makeup, um, lots of liner. The big trick at a dollar store is when you are buying eyeliner choose pencil liner because pencil liner lasts virtually forever before you use it a lot of the times because they are sometimes less expensive products they may be a little rough on your skin mm -hmm. so warm it up between your fingers that'll make it creamy and go on really easily oh, that's a good trick and when you're Going for mascara, we were able to buy mascara. There are some brands that are made for discount stores that cost about a dollar. Um, we have Black Radiance, we have Elf. Those are safe. But for uh, other brands, you see a tube of Revlon mascara, you don't know how long it's sat around. It probably has dried out, so just leave it there. And if you buy discount makeup, will it stay on as long? Is it the yes. be same quality? Um, well, you're going the quality in terms of the texture, you're going to feel it may not feel as creamy or uh -huh. as moisturizing. It will look the same, and you can get the same results, honestly. As we see here, thank you to all three of you. Kristen Parada, thanks as well. Thank you very much. If all of you would like details on these looks, just log on to our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.